Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a different opinion. I hope everyone's been well. I hope everyone's been enjoying the videos. If you have been enjoying it, please subscribe below the video just to help support the channel, help us grow together, and I'll be able to make some more videos in the future. And also like the videos if you do like it, and comment with your opinions. Let me know what you think about um, things and how it's going to turn out as well. So let's get into this one here from Metro. It is back onto the topic of the royal family, right? About Megan and Harry. I mean, damn. Like, I never thought I'd ever make this many videos on these two. But I just have such a dislike for them at the moment that I do want to see their docuseries fail. I want to see his memoir fail. I want to see pretty much all their stuff fail and them having to come out and apologize for them being bad people, right? I, I'm probably not the only person out there that probably feels this way. Today I read this here is from William. So Prince William, um, Harry's brother, vows to push back against Harry and Meghan's bombshell Netflix series. And this is the first time, you know, that anything's come out about William saying anything, because usually he stays quiet. He doesn't really ever say anything. He's always just been out of the limelight, right? Prince William is prepared to fight back claims made in the Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary. It has been reported. Apart from details about their first meeting and their decision to begin a new life in California, it is expected to address the rift at the center of the royal family. Yep, that that we all know this is what the show is going to be about. It's got to be about the drama. It's going to be about the juicy parts where the real the royal family split, and that's what it's going to be about. No one cares about Harry and Meghan's relationship. Like, come on, seriously, man. They they some of the most disliked people. No one cares about your damn relationship. No longer willing to let inaccurate claims go unanswered, the Prince of Wales has allegedly instructed aides to comb through the bombshells show. A source told the Sunday Express the prince and princess's team will wait to see what is in the Netflix series before deciding what to do. But you can see the direction of travel. The comments come after the picture of William and Kate was included in the one minute trailer. And the thing was too, the picture that they did show of like William and Kate is not like, not like a friendly picture. They weren't smiling or nothing. Kate was kind of giving like a bit of a evil kind of look. Obviously, that's just when the photo was taken. And there's a reason why they chose that photo. So the photo in the trailer showing how the Sussexes were pursued by the press was actually taken at a film premiere. This is how stupid these two are that their damn Netflix series has to take a freaking fake photo, which was actually from Harry Potter's premiere five years before they even met. Have a look. This is the image, right? And there it is. But the photograph was actually taken of photographers at the premiere of for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2 in central London. Look at that. Exact same photo. Oh my lord, Netflix, you guys suck so bad. You suck so bad. No wonder you guys are tanking. Your shows suck. You can't even take an actual picture of press because obviously... Press don't care about Harry and Meghan this much. Like, damn, when was the last time any, like this many people want to take photos of these two? Let's be real. So Meghan and Harry's Her Royal Highness, His Royal Highness titles will be removed after provoking the king claims an expert. We already know this is going to happen. In case you didn't, this will happen, especially after the show, for sure. And then his memoir is going to come out and it's going to be even worse. So Carol McGiffin... She has run out of patience um, for not nice Meghan and Harry over the Netflix documentary, right? So she's seen the little trailer, blah, 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 blah. She said they are not nice people. Welcome to the party. We all know this. And just to show you as well, which is hilarious. I actually watched this video earlier today from Ryan Kinnell. Um, it's worth a follow on his stuff as well. But this one here, so it literally shows the Harry and Meghan official teaser trailer on Netflix. Look at the ratio here. So 20,000 people like the video, 236,000 dislikes. And this was from hours ago. So it's probably even worse now. It's hilarious. No one likes this. And Netflix, <laughs> oh my Lord. Just to show you the thing as well. So Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix docuseries trailer shows weapons grade narcissism paints Kate Middleton as the villain. Like I said, in that picture, it didn't make Kate Middleton look very nice. And just after it had Megan crying, 
you know, in her hands, probably over nothing because she's trying to play the victim again. And yeah, this is the wrong people to attack. Don't now. I don't know how Harry lets her attack his own family like this, but obviously he doesn't care, right? That's the type of person he is. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you are keen to watch this show and the reason why. Because are you the same as me for the reasoning to see how bad they make the royal family seem and how much they play the victim, as we all know it's going to be? Um, and also let me know what you think about Harry and Meghan below in the comments. Please let me know. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you do want to help, su help support the channel in the future. And like the video if you liked it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.